and gentlemen, welcome to the Rocket Radio Show broadcast, starring your host, Rocket, coming at you for a take two. You sons of bitches, don't forget <laughs> to press the record button, Sam. How you doing, Sam? I am doing Stop yelling, Rocket. <laughs> I am doing great. You know, I realized the other day. How does one spell Jehoshaphat? Not sure. <laughs> we were trying to figure out the etymology of the uh, the phrase "jumping jump Jehoshaphat." Jehoshaphat. <laughs> I like to say "jumping Jehoshaphat." <laughs> Holy fucking tamale! Did you notice that we have a red, <laughs> better dead than red? We have a red commie theme on this show, Sam. Yes, darling. I oh. did notice. <laughs> I was thinking that you had finally noticed. <laughs> Hello, darling. So what is the fucking deal with everybody? They're all t- got their panties in a twist saying that somehow Donald Trump is attached at the hip with Putin, which could be only maybe so good friends. for me. I'm maybe a Maybe they're friends. What's the big deal? Maybe they're, maybe they're friends. This is, this is my new thing. What's the big deal? You know what it is? <laughs> is uh, I, I think that the shadow government is... They took the air out of the euphoria from Donald Trump's speech by sabotaging Jeff Sessions by making it like the guy, you know, you can't talk to a Russian ambassador anymore. You know what I mean? Well, I was watching one of your favorite programs this morning, um, CNN, and then I switched to MSNBC because I know how much you like both of those. But they were actually talking about that's what an ambassador's job is. An ambassador's job is to talk to Russian officials, to other countries' officials, and to talk to as many people as possible over any given time. That's their job. And so if you tell them they can no longer do their job, where are you? Well, that's, what the hell is that? It's like a coffin lid. That's the third time I've done that. So this brings up a question. The reason why they're so shitty about this is they feel that the Russians hacked the DNC servers and came up with the Podesta files. So that brings me to a question, and I was trying to think of a good analogy, but basically, like, let's say that you were committing a burglary to steal shit. You were going, you were breaking in a house to steal the TV, but when you got in there, you found a torture chamber with a bunch of broads in it. I like that idea. (laughs) And, you know, are you guilty... You know, we're supposed to be mad at Russia, and it's supposed to be relevant because Russia disclosed that the DNC had ripped off Bernie oh. and was a bunch of corrupt pieces of shit, well, and that John Podesta specifically was a world-famous pedo cover-upper. Well, what they were talking about this morning is they were saying that how dare they um, blame the blame the media for everything that's going on right now, but they were leaking information to the media earlier when yeah. it became Hillary Clinton and it's like time out time out reason that that was so important and such a big deal is because what she was doing was effing illegal oh hell yeah and she was doing something illegal the fact that these people are talking to one another they are two high profile country representatives they are allowed to talk to one another but what she was doing was illegal so well, this whipping up this whole anti-Russian hysteria uh, after growing up in my lifetime as a baby boomer Gen Xer, being fucking scared that the Russians were going to nuclear bomb us. I mean, I remember talking with my mother when I was an adolescent, when I was a, a teenager. Very fucking concerned, man. I was scared to death. They put out a movie back in the day. This this will tell you how old I was. It was called the the day after, and it was about a nuclear bomb attack and the day after, and how everybody's hair was falling out, and it was just it was a really well done kind of a proto they, precursor like to uh, shit hit the fan, you know, post apocalypse movies. This was uh, yeah, they showed it at school. They showed my brother's class. 
I was a little bit younger than How him. I, I found out from him. He was just terrified, and they show, you know, the mushroom cloud and all this stuff. So you know, for Hillary Clinton, let me finish my thoughts, sure, Sam. I'm sorry. So for Hillary Clinton and her ilk and the left in general and progressives in general to stir the pot, you know, this is what I, I've tried to be optimistic under the circumstances. I really try to be optimistic because Donald Trump has been in. But after watching these fucking whores in Congress all wearing white sitting there. Yeah. Remember how I was telling you, Sam, that women shouldn't vote because they act in an aggregate? They, Did you notice they, how no men were all sitting wearing white? It was just a of bunch course, of twats. Of course. A bunch of ugly women. Feminism is for ugly women that can't compete. That should have been <laughs> drained by the Darwinism. That's what it is. Haven't you ever noticed that these feminist bitches are always big, fucking ugly, fat they're, bitches? They're a little frumpy. And when you learn the science behind uh, getting a fucking uh, bacteria organism in your brain from the cat shit, it makes you crazy, Sam. <laughs> to substitute your thoughts with paranoia and shit. What was that? Anyway. What? That's a, that's a joke, Sam. <laughs> that's called a joke. It's sarcasm. I'll do it again. Hey, you know what's weird? When you get that disease from the cats, what's that called, Sam? Toxoplasmosis. Yeah, when you get that, um, yeah, it makes you parent. Thought I heard something. <laughs> I it makes you paranoid time. as hell. I did this did you? I guess I wasn't paying attention. I heard a scratching just now. <laughs> I wasn't or maybe paying attention. The pulsing Sorry, I fell asleep. of the vulture heart. <laughs> okay, so let's bring up the next thing, Sam. We sure. passed a milestone. Yes, what yes, is that? yes. Uh, women. Uh, yeah, we've proven now. It's like it's like landing on the fucking moon. You know what I mean? Like Newtonian laws. This is wait. a nature law. We finally proven that women cannot be made to be fucking happy. Did you know that? Because <laughs> guess what? What? Brad Pitt oh, isn't good enough. You see oh, what I mean? No, 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 no. Brad Pitt is not good enough. So the whole thing of being able to say, here we go, Sam. You're not going to, as a man, you're no longer going to be able to say, well, what the fuck? It's not like I'm Brad Pitt or anything. Like he's some fucking milestone, right? Even Brad Pitt gets thrown to the curb. Well, I got some news for you, Sam. I got some news. Do tell, do First tell. of all, Angelie Jolie, I went and fished around to get pictures of her. She's fucking hot. <laughs> she's really beautiful, man. Uh, earlier, maybe. Er, uh, I already told you, she's cut last... off both her tits. She's had her uterus yanked out preemptively. Yes, preemptively, I know. yeah. Gutted herself like a fish. She looks a little <laughs> thin and a little pasty. She's lonely, too. Lonely to she's tonight. Lonely. She's so, got her cats, <laughs> and she's in Cambodia stoking up another civil war out there. Awesome. So Sure, sure. But before we, before I let go of this, this is a MGTOW moment, Sam. Oh, no, I actually This just proves that hy hygemony, yes. the hypergamy, it just doesn't go away, Sam. It's bigger, better deal. She actually fucking thinks in her mind... She's going to do better than Brad Pitt. Holy fucking cool. I'll bet you it's something else. How long have they been married? Security dogs barking in Sector 7, sir. <laughs> sector 7, clear. Roger that. No, I mean. How long have they been together? 2006 or 10-something yeah, years, right? Yeah. How long do you think it's been since she stopped sucking his cock? I don't know. I bet it's been a long time. time She's out, got though. that nasty bitch face when she's resting. So I want to resting nasty bitch face. I want to disagree Love with you though. on a couple of different things. First shit. of all, Brad Pitt is the shit. Brad Pitt <laughs> from a guy a perspective. Minute. The guy's yeah. good looking. I, he he's is, playing an old man. He's playing I, a general with I like gray Brad hair. He's, he's 50 the same but age as me. He's 53. You're not 53. But no, no you are 53. I'm 53. Okay. He's 50. No, he's 53. Oh, okay. He's 53. I think he's the same age as he me. He might actually have the same birthday as you. But the bottom line, Sam, is the, the newsworthy thing today. The newsworthy thing today is the fact that Brad Pitt got the kids. Okay, so. And, and we would wonder why. And first of all, look at these pictures. God damn, look at all those fucking kids. Like She's out of her mind. <laughs> 
to adopt all those colored kids from all over the world virtue signaling like a mother ever. What, Sam? Can I say something? Okay, go ahead. All right, because you gave me assignments tonight. One of them was to look this up. And I, this is my gig, right? Yeah. So Brad and Angelina, they broke up, right? They are getting a divorce. In January, Brad was allowed five-hour visitation, supervised visitation, with his children. And then he asked for more time with his children. And so they've slowly increased the amount of time that he has been able to spend with these six kids. And then in February, they actually announced that he they were going to get joint custody. But Angelina has been seen. First of all, you talk about her bitch face. She says she's lonely. She lost her soulmate. Now. Oh, because of Brad smoking weed. And but now, on the now, Brad. So Brad was smoking weed on the Wait airplane. Brad has been seen with Kate Hudson, who is a hot little piece of hoogie. Right. Um, on the beaches. So they've been on a beach vacay together. And after the Oscars, guess who texted him and said congratulations on Best Picture for my life? Uh, that, that washed up has been brought from friends with it's saggy breasts and yes. old face with crow's feet. Yeah, they, they were an item. They were a big, big item together. In fact, oh, big, big. She Brad made Hitch. a couple of shitty movies after that and disappeared. She made him famous. Brad Pitt was first on the uh, Brad Pitt was made famous by Thelma and Louise. No, he was on Friends before Thelma okay, and Louise. Okay, he might have been on Friends before Thelma and Louise, uh, but... Brad Pitt is my, um, you know... So Brad Pitt is with Angelie Jolie, and they're adopting a bunch of fucking kids, having well, a bunch have, of kids. They have two kids together. Okay, okay. Yeah. So this guy can choose from the smorgasbord of hot chicks. Yeah. He could have one every... He, he, why doesn't he follow in Leonardo DiCaprio's... You know what he did is he followed the George Clooney plan. The fucking no, moron the plan. First, uh, George Clooney. George Clooney. Him. He's an idiot. Is such a fucking moron. Yeah, they were gonna get a divorce. Add him to the list. Yeah, and then she suddenly has twins. Well, I'm gonna have twins. Oh, of course. That no more reason for her to be not only a 10 or an 11 and an attorney. Now she can have twins and George Clooney's album. I mean, she's set for fucking ever. Yeah, That's why she doesn't want him anymore. It will save our marriage. Have Let's move on to the next topic. Oh, we could do this forever. Because we always... Oh, you have more? No. Do you have more? So anyway, the whole point is, I just wanted to show, is that that does remove the thing that if you were Brad Pitt, you know, the problem with women it's not that they're evil creatures. It's not that they're bad people. It's not that you hate them. The problem is they seek something better, bigger, better deals. And this has a lot of maladaptive behavior. And you have women that are in their 40s that are delusional and think they're still in their 20s and don't realize and don't care anymore. Well, I'm they sorry. don't care anymore. Once you hit a wall, they move on. And you know, women don't understand that they have such a tiny clock ticking that the, the fertility window is really, really narrow. Angelina, They're fucked. Angelina Jolie is 41 years she's old. Wa she's and washed I think, up. I think that she has hit her wall. Brad Pitt continues to get better looking. I see yeah, stuff I all the time where they got old broads. Who was it that I just saw was posing? Oh, Sigourney Weaver. Ooh. No, she's fucking good looking, man. Right I know, I know. That's what I, that's what I thought. I don't think she's ever good well, they got her looking. dolled up for... I've been doing space stuff. The, the, she's got quest, crazy Galaxy, eyes. No, Galaxy Quest. She's got blonde hair and push-up tits. She's, she's, she's good looking. So is it her it's, tits or her face? Because it's her whole package. No, Sigourney Weaver great. has moments. Uh, Otherwise, she's uh, kind of butchy. No doubt, no doubt. I was trying to think of who it was. But they like to drag out 50-year-old broads and 45-year-old broads, and then, they, and then they'll, they'll, you know, why is there so much Viagra? And they try to shame men for being, for not taking Viagra, when the truth is they just, it's all visual. Yeah, it's not based on, like, you know, for sexual stuff, what women think is great, men think is boring. And what men think is great, women think so is offensive. 
It's so strange, <laughs> you know. No, I'm thinking Men of want that you nasty, say to dirty, me. sweaty, nasty, like meth-fueled, tattooed nastiness, right? Yeah, and like a woman will be Pat happy. Bondi. And she'll be getting her feet rubbed, and they'll say on the ad for that, right? You know, flip no, than an Better than sex. <laughs> and he's like, really? Let's go down the list. What else? Oh, flowers. Okay, cool. Well, big giant flowers at work. Better than sex. What else? Oh, a wonderful back rub yes, with massage. heated stones. Better than sex. You know, like, okay, better, better than a blowjob. Oh, definitely. Okay. Well, what else? <laughs> oh, a wonderful facial with a scrub. That's better than sex. <laughs> oh, definitely. Okay, so that's number six. So let's ask him. What else is better than sex? Oh, a little, quick, little sweet little dog. Little gift is a little dog. Little chihuahua is a gift. Love getting little, little dogs, your little purse. Oh, he's so cute, sweet. It's like, so that's better than sex. Oh, definitely. So ask huh. the man. What's so we ask the man, what's, what's, what's better than that? And they're like, sandwiches. And then, <laughs> and you know what we do? We jump on the trad con bad bandwagon to be a tra tra traditional and man shame, right? And carry all these stereotypes that don't fucking apply anymore, like beer drinking, football watching, stupid moron with his head in the sand. Power side. tools. It doesn't, that just doesn't, that's not. Have you ever, know, you notice when you look at things with hindsight, like when you saw in the 70s the wide lapels and the sideburns and the, and the bell bottoms, how odd and how queer it looks, how different and weird, right, wrong, right. you know? You look at yourself now and you're like modern and normal, you know? Well, look back at the fucking Obama presidency. Look back at the rapid rise of the LGBT fucking cancer, uh, right? Now you got the little kids. I heard on NPR in the truck. I was driving around oh, the truck. speaking of things you really love, NPR. Oh, God. <laughs> and they were talking about this grandpa. He's like, our, our grandpa's got a grandpa voice. And when my grand, my grandchild was nine, came to me and said, Grandpa, I'm a girl. Blah, 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 girls' clothes, blah, 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 surgery at <gasps> nine. No. Or some shit like that. That's bullshit. They were fucking pushing that. So, you know, sometimes I get upset where I, I, I don't want to be mad anymore, but, you know, this shit's not an accident. You know, the tribe is pushing all that degeneracy, so. Well, and we live in the most liberal effing state. So, speaking of internet. degeneracy, Sam. Yes. Ivanka Trump. I'm not sure exact details, but something was put out in the news that Ivanka Trump says they're going after the pedophiles. I saw that. Bom bom. <laughs> the Where's Podesta the, Club. The cat, scary scat. Oh yeah, the yeah, scary scat, scary scat. <laughs> okay, so all right, so then the next news story, Sam. So uh, Valerie it's like Jarrett. Really cool, Valerie Jar Jarrett's like Iranian lady that takes care of Obama's every need and kind of like serves him as a handler. Well, she she's was a special advisor. She's been, she's moving into his house, Sam. Did you see a picture? This is a picture of his house. Look at that. Now, this is the picture where they're building the fucking wall. It's, it's <laughs> they're building a 10-foot wall. We're going to keep the roof right out. So, so his house, the mansion here in D.C. is mm -hmm. 8,200 square feet. And he's only renting it. Well, he's renting it from a DC stovepipe insider that later he'll probably buy it from him. He's thinking about putting it in a swimming pool and some other. No, he's not going to buy it because they actually own property in Chicago and in Florida. And Dubai. And Dubai? Yeah, they, they got their palace invested. in Dubai. The Once he gets the Muslim Brotherhood going. The only reason that they're staying in Washington is because their youngest daughter is still in school. Okay, that's the biggest fucking scam because Eric Holder, yeah. remember that piece of shit? I do. What you know, it? why was he a racist against whites? Hmm, let me think. Hmm, let's, I wonder about his wife. Oh, I know. His wife is the sister. Get this, Sam. Eric Holder's wife's sister is that black girl that you see to run the gauntlet in the famous famous. Getting a <laughs> what was that? <laughs> in the famous, because it's listen to what I have to say. In that famous footage of the Negroidian girl walking the gauntlet between the National Guard and the irate whites in the Alabama school when George Wallace sent the National Guard in. Rosa Parks? No, that's not Rosa Parks. <laughs> no. The kids, the black kids, or eight of them, I think, that the National Guard allowed them to go to the school. It was the first time because they were trying to do segregation. And there's a famous photo of a little black girl with her books going into the class and ruining their class. Little did they know, fast forward 48 years, 
and you have fucking mayhem in the classroom. <laughs> so. I heard something about Eric Holder just the other day, and I can't remember what it was. Somebody is being investigated, and they've asked Eric Holder yeah. to do the, um, yeah, to do he's, the uh, background investigation. Why does it sound like my mic is on now all of a sudden? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so... No, Eric Holder's wife is married to the sister of the famous photo of the black girl penetrating the white supremacy thing, Sam. Okay. And so mix in a little uh, Jesse Jackson, and you've got yourself an American Muslim Brotherhood. Shit. (laughs) Scary. So I could say this is my new thing. So she moves into their house and is friends with Michelle Obama. What's the big deal? <laughs> yeah. What's, Whoop. yeah, what's the big deal? I'll, I'll add that. Good. <laughs> so what's the head to get the dummy out? Hey, so she's moving in. So Valerie Jarrett's going to live with Obama. She needs a place to live. What's the big, what's the big deal? deal with that? <laughs> because Eric Holder announced, get this, okay? This is not treason. It's sedition. But... Eric Holder announced that the team, the deep state, Sam, the crew, the club. Oh, I see. It's my sock. That's what it is. I need (laughs) sock discipline for this microphone, Sam. (laughs) That the crew, Obama and crew, including Eric Holder, still in the game, totally being interviewed and like spilling his fucking guts in this interview, saying that the Obama team, including Valerie, are working behind the scenes to have our boy, Trump, oh, the yeah. Trumpster, removed. Oh yeah, there's okay, a major, that's sedition. Major, major insurgency that they either are, they're going to strive. Th- or that shit makes my fucking blood boil. Because you know what, Sam? That's what I was country. starting to say earlier. Uh, we should just give up. No. No. The people that are in charge of our government hate the fucking people. The people voted, and they hate the people. All they care about are a bunch of mutated, genderly say. challenged. Fucking morons. Look what you guys have done to Rocket. Oh my That's goodness. why I'm trying to say this shit was, is on purpose. Shame on you, CIA. Shame on you, FBI. Shame on you. They allowed our country to be corrupted and ruined. Can you imagine what the world would have been like if we would have spent all the money instead of on Iraq, if we would have just built Star Wars or S- Star Trek like we were supposed to? That's what I, I was raised my whole life thinking we were going to do that. I mean, I was, I'm a 70s kid. Outer space was everything. I, I'm rocking. I thought for sure that we'd be in outer space. When they asked for, like, suicide volunteers for rocket, you know, travel, I'm fucking going, son. If they say we need volunteers for Saturn, I'm going. Well, they've already got two people signed up to be launched to the moon. So anyway, Ivanka Trump announced that the pedophile... What you've got going right now is you've got the you've got the the factors. See the big players, Sam, have rearranged their pieces on the board to go with the Trump presidency now. So you've got a lot of factions that are being outed. You know, the fact that the Rothschild cunt had some smart ass shit to say about Podesta tells me they're gonna throw Podesta under the under the She said something along the lines of, Oh, you little pedo bastard, if you hadn't been so arrogant and full of hubris, we might have won the election. You know, there's a lot of money lost when Hillary lost, man. There's tons of consequences that are still being hashed out right now. And the fact that Obama and crew are hunkering down in some fucking bunker in Chicago, they should all be arrested. It's, they're in it's DC. coming. Yeah. No, or Chicago. yeah, DC, sorry. Yeah, they're in DC. DC, my bad, my bad. Chicago's she has another house. Too cold. Chicago. Yeah, so, so, let's about- talk about what? <laughs> I was going to say, so speaking of Antarctica. Speaking of Antarctica, <laughs> have I talked about Antarctica yet? Not yet. Oh, I got out of order. Uh oh, what do you? Oh, what did you want to talk about? In Antarctica, Sam. Yes. What are they called, Lockheed Martin? How many pages of notes do you Why have? Why the f would Lockheed Martin be required to show up down in Antarctica, I considering am so that Lockheed glad. Martin is, uh, by the way deeply affiliated with Podesta and 
I am company. so glad that but you why asked. Why would Lockheed Martin be going down to Antar? You know what, Sam? I'm starting to think I want to get my boat like I always have. Yeah. But I want to go directly to Antarctica. No, 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 no. We don't want to go there, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Okay. Because Lockheed Martin, this contractor, <laughs> going to Antarctica, is responsible for providing everything non-scientific down in Antarctica, from sustenance, shelter, medical service, to electricity, communications, and transportation that is needed to carry out all manner of research in and around the stations and across the frozen continent. It's like running a small town, said a spokesperson from Lockheed. Uh, the business will manage the project from its offices in Colorado Springs, Colorado. So basically, they've got this giant, quote, air quotes, research project that's oh my going God. on. And Lockheed Martin is supposed to go there. And I thought Lockheed Martin was, um, they're like Raytheon. Yeah, they're they like make. a defense contractor, right? They make airplanes and jets. They make boats and all but kinds of shit. they're a defense shit. contractor. Oh, Lock fuck, yeah. Yeah, Lockheed Martin's a defense contractor, and they are here to do everything non-scientific, in, including the medical and the shelter and everything. So they're building a gosh darn country down there. They're lying. They're lying? They may be supplying logistics for something going on down in Antarctica, but it's way bigger than that. More likely, they want their technical expertise because it has something to do with the precious new uh, electronics, some kind of new technology that's going to be announced to the world. Oh, it's an energy conservation system, from what I can gather. Oh, and they're going to be what? down there for four and a half years to what? eight and a half years. Yeah. It's some kind of energy device that's being that was uncovered because the ice it's, is melted. It has something to do with increasing and by fuel the way, storage capacity and conserving energy. Oh, see? It has to do with energy. God, I can't wait for them to make little personal so drones you can fly anywhere, around it. Anywhere from four and a half years to eight and a half years, they're expected to be down there. But they're going to be able to run it remotely from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Don't tell me there ain't no pipeline. Or underground tunnels that were dug by nuclear powered tunnel diggers, you know, like Big Bertha's digging the most. <laughs> Don't say Big Bertha, that thing is Big a waste. Bertha. That thing is a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Because, you know, they've proven, Sam, that the uh, global warming has just turned into be a fucking hoax. It's going to be an ice age. I don't think anybody that isn't from around this area knows what Big Birth is. <laughs> what a waste. Uh, yeah, so, so I think that's about it. My, my joke for my dummy. Yes? Uh, uh, why is there no toilets in hell? Why is that, right? Because the Bible says there's no relief in hell. <laughs> See? <laughs> I it's get really it. funny. No, huh? I get it. That would be super funny if a puppet said that in a church with religion. <laughs> 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 you know, they recommend practicing in front of the uh, senior mother. Yeah, and the Alzheimer's character. Yeah, puppet. <laughs> yeah, well, you entertain the old people. They're old. They need entertaining. Did you want to talk about this last item? or are we What last night? item? Oh, God. What That's last America, item? This one. What's that? Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, Sam. Yes. Bitcoin has finally surpassed gold. I saw that in the news. How, how long ago did I say we should get some Bitcoin? <laughs> I don't want to, like, grind it in the dirt. Yeah, right well, right. you are grinding it in the about dirt, like but it was about right. six, six months ago. About $600 ago, at least. Yeah, about $600 ago, thank you. Sure, sure. Yeah, and what did I tell you? Uh, not worth it. No, I didn't say that. I don't remember what you said. Well, number one, I don't really understand it enough to purchase well, it yet. However, as soon as we get back from vacation, I will... Bitcoin. I would say that when they're panicking, it makes sense. It just make. I want some people to make some comments. If you've made it this far into the fucking video, <laughs> and you don't leave a goddamn comment. Say something about Bitcoin. Yeah, I want to hear what you think about Bitcoin. I'm thinking it's good. I'm going to throw in. I want to throw in. You know what I would really like to do? I would like to throw in for, like, me, you, and my my kids. Like, get a Bitcoin from each one of us because it's going to be such a fucking fat payday. I like the word cryptocurrency. Crypto. Well, the thing is, it's outside of the government. So let's just give an example. Let's say that Italy starts crashing. They may announce to the public, go to Bitcoin, go to Bitcoin quickly, you know. And that's going to 